more Americans than ever have asthma. It's one of the country's most common and costly diseases, with 26 million Americans being affected. This has led to asthma becoming the lead chronic disease, number one cause of school absenteeism, and a major source of ER visits among children across the U.S. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America ranked Philadelphia as the number four asthma capital due to its high asthma prevalence, poverty, air pollution, and asthma fatalities. I'm Ty Brian Stevens, the Medical Director of the Community Asthma Prevention Program at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. We felt that there was a gap between what was happening in clinic, what's happening in the primary care provider's office, and what happens at home. We wanted to close that gap, specifically for children who are in low-income minority communities. We affectionately call that program CAP, and CAP has been around for over 20 years. We found that the parents really needed help with doing some of the environmental interventions in the home. And that began our home visitor program. Our community health workers really worked with the families and the children to identify what do you think triggers your symptoms. They go to homes of children who've been admitted to the hospital or been to the emergency room a few times. And they talk about what asthma really is and how do you incorporate the things that the doctors said for you to do into your home life. And in doing that, they also do a pretty focused observation of the child's bedroom. They go in the child's bedroom and they look for common triggers, such as dust, and that can be in carpets or in mattresses and pillows. They look for pests in the general area, such as cockroaches and mice. They also look for signs of mold and tobacco smoke and pet dander, and those are the things they kind of focus on. And in doing that, we give families supplies that helps them reduce those triggers in the, in the child's bedroom and in the home in general. Having a child with asthma is, is pretty scary. When she starts to get an asthma attack, she starts to cough. That's how I know as well she's getting sick. When I had to go to the ER, it was scary, stressful. What does it feel like when you have asthma? My heart starts beating fast and my chest hurt, and sometimes my back hurt too. What I learned from my healthcare navigator is to reduce the triggers in my home and what action plan to take for her when she gets to that point. With this program, we've seen a significant reduction in hospitalizations, upwards of 50 to 60 percent, depending on the cohort that we have examined. The Asthma and Allergy Certification Program was created by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America in partnership with Allergy Standards Limited. The certification program scientifically tests and identifies consumer products and services. When you see the distinctive asthma and allergy-friendly certification mark on a product, you know that it has been independently tested in accredited laboratories and proven to improve indoor air quality and reduce your exposure to allergens or asthma triggers for a healthier indoor home environment. The certification program is raising the standards for a cleaner and healthier home. It gives families the peace of mind to make smart, informed decisions when buying products for their home. A healthier home can go a long way to managing asthma and allergies indoors, and it starts with the Asthma and Allergy-Friendly Certification Program.